So hello, Dr. Lindahl here. Today is Art Talk, and Art Talk is where I show you the creations that I make. I show you the importance of recycling and upcycling fabrics and materials whenever you can. And I like to show you how therapeutic art can be. Today I want to show you some of the dolls that I have and one of the uh, purses I have on my Etsy shop. And um, they're available now for sale if you're interested in purchasing one of them. Whenever you purchase one of any pieces of artwork that you get on my Etsy shop, you get a free handmade gift. So, um, here we go. Let me get rid of this here for a second. <laughs> I had a little um, Facebook interaction there. So this is one of the dolls I have on there right now. Um, for some people it might seem really scary. Uh, but that's sometimes when I express myself, that's what comes out. This was a fabric doll that I made. First I sewed the doll by hand and then I painted the doll and then I um, used Mod Podge to um, seal the paint in. <clears throat> you can see some of the paint like drip, I mean the Mod Podge, but makes it look really glisteny and then some of it right there. Yeah, I, ever since I was a kid I watched horror movies <clears throat> and my mom was a big horror movie fan. so. I'm sure that a lot of the scarier looking art that I make is influenced by my childhood when I watched a lot of horror movies, so that could be a part of it. But this doll is, is on sale right now on my Etsy shop, so check her out. Um, trying to save up enough money to, uh, to buy a new uh, camera, so the funds that, you, that I get from you through the sales of the art on my Etsy shop will help with me saving up for a camera so I don't have to overtax my camera phone. Um, so yeah. Here's the newest doll that I put up. <clears throat> this is, uh, I called her the alligator woman. And because of the green face and the green body and the shape of her face kind of reminded me of an alligator. Um, very much, I feel like, Vodou influenced Yoruba. Um, it's like a medicine woman. She's got dreads, and she's got eyeballs on her dreads. She sees all. She's a two-sided doll, just like the other doll. It's a fabric doll made uh, from recycled fabrics from start to finish. I sewed it by hand, and then I painted it all by hand, and... Um, use Mod Podge to seal in the paint. So let's show the other side of the doll. The whole two-sided doll idea came from my husband because once I was working on a doll and I didn't have enough hair for the, the back of the head. So my husband said, why don't you just make it a two-sided doll? And there you go. Therein lies the story of the two-sided doll. Not all of my dolls are two-sided, but there's a bit of them that are. So two different personalities so you get pretty much get two dolls in one <laughs> so yeah and yeah it's got that kind of Halloween vibe um, only reason why it has a Halloween vibe to it because a lot of the Halloween horror mo movies that come around on Hall Halloween <clears throat> they're typically scary or they're having to do with a lot of things we don't understand like symbols and signs and um, alligator people <laughs> things like that. Um, it's hard for us to comprehend some of the things we see in horror movies. That's why it's scary. So, But yeah. Um, all handmade. So it's on my Etsy shop right now if you're interested. And get yourself a free gift along with this doll. This doll is not meant for kids to play with. This is an art doll. It's a fabric art doll. Not meant to play with. It's meant to display. So you can sit her anywhere you want as long as you're not sitting her somewhere where she's going to get dirty because this was definitely a labor of love so check out my Etsy shop and you can see her available there and you can see more photos and pictures of her but this right here me holding her gives you an idea of her size um, I also um, posted photos on um, my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook of this doll so you can check out Alligator Woman there and here's another doll called Mor Morbida. Morbida. Um, 
she's a two-sided doll also made from uh, fabric recycled fabrics um, I'm given recycled fabrics from different resources this was from uh, a dress and a shirt that someone gave me a long time ago that I didn't wasn't gonna wear as a skirt or a dress or whatever because it, it just just too much <laughs> but um, I thought it'd be perfect for my dolls so this is op she's like a zombie doll she has two sides to her is the other side um, I did take pictures and post her on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook but in this case seeing her up close is a lot more uh, helpful kind of staying in the same like ho uh, Halloween genre kind of horror genre um, <clears throat> But yeah, it's, this is her, and she's on sale and available on my Etsy shop. She's um, She comes with a free gift as well, and um, she's another one of those art dolls. It's an art doll. Made from recycled fabric, same process involved. The hair, I really have fun with the dreads. <laughs> it's recycled fabrics. Um, the whole thing's made out of recycled fabrics just about. Um, there's some electrical wire or cording that I used for the eyes on this one. You see it better. See that? There it is. But yeah, I have fun experimenting with different uh, materials and different uh, fabrics, and it's a load of fun. So this one, she's on my Etsy shop, available for sale. So please check her out. Um, here's another one show you guys. It's been on there, hanging in there. <laughs> this is a, a very intricate piece. Um, yeah, it's been through a lot of mo well, two moves actually, this piece. Um, so this is what it looks like. It, this is definitely a labor of love. I took a lot of time and effort to make this piece. Um, there's even on the back of it, you can uh, attach a cord or something to hang it up on your wall. Um, this was made from a recycled plastic doll, and then on I painted it, and then I put designs on it, adinkra symbols on there. Um, I also have um, Evil Eye and Prosperity on there, um, the pentagram for protection on either side of it. It's pretty heavy, pretty heavy piece, hefty piece. But uh, if you put some wire on the bottom, on the back of it, really tough wire, it'll hang up on the wall really well. So, um, yeah, the whole thing is painted. Even the dreads are painted, striped, black and white. I've got um, a few of my um, polymer clay beads in there, infused in there. So, yeah, it's a pretty intense piece. And it can be used as an altar piece, you know, put it up above your altar. So it's up on uh, my Etsy shop right now for sale. And yeah, it's, so the only thing else I wanted to show you guys is the um, is the purse I recently put up. And I have more purses and handbags up and medicine bags up. Sometimes I call them medicine bags because they're just the right size to carry medicine in of whatever sort. <laughs> so, um, let me see if I can find the last thing. So it's this one here. It's the Conjoined Twin uh, medicine bag. Uh, I had somebody interested in it and they changed their mind on it. So it's not a, now available on my Etsy shop. Um, it's all hand sewn, hand embroidered. You see the, uh, the eyes on the handle. Each eye, individual eye, I hand embroidered myself. So, there you go. For those, those people that complain about the price of my artwork, they just need to shut their mouths because um, this is a lot of work. And actually, the price of this purse is cheap for what I price it. If, I, if you were to buy it at a store or at a museum, it'd be way more money. So, whatever. <laughs> So, yeah, only the artist really knows how much it's worth because they spent the time and effort making it. and So it's lined as well. Um, you could probably fit, if you're going to use it just as a regular purse and not as a medicine bag, you could fit your, uh, you could fit your wallet, your keys, your cell phone in it. That's how much space it has in it, surprisingly enough. And there's two uh, conjoined twins on each side. 
Each of them have a dress with a pentagram on it, and the pentagram, as I've said so many times, is a symbol for protection. It's not the symbol for summoning uh, the devil or whatever, like some people think. It's actually a symbol that's been used for ages, and the meaning of it has been twisted throughout the years, so. Holly Weird helped with that. But yeah, this is a really, uh, really securely sewn uh, medicine sl slash purse slash bag, whatever you want to call it. I've been calling it medicine bag. But yeah, you can, uh, you can fit those amount of items in there with no problem. And it's a, uh, it's a really fun, fun thing to carry though too. I mean, with with the fall season coming before you know it. It's just like to not, nice to have a new like bag to put your stuff into. So, and what better bag to have than something that's made out of 100% recycled fabrics and materials? So, my cat's decided to join us. I don't know where he's gonna he's gonna knock over the phone or what. But anyway, this video has come to a close. <laughs> so, thank you for joining me today for today's show of Art Talk. I hope this uh not just so you can rush over and buy my stuff, but I hope this inspires you too to do something creative and to recycle whenever you can. There's so much waste in this world. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you're doing anything creative. And um, feel free to leave your Etsy shop on in the comment section so everybody can check out each other's artwork. So. I really love these dolls. They're so much fun. And they're great for stress relief. When you're feeling stressed out, make yourself a little doll with recycled fabrics. It's so much fun. <laughs> and um, they're pieces of artwork that you'll have made. And if you give them to somebody or sell them to somebody, then they have it. And they have your energy um, and your self-expression in case in a doll. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.